Hello you guys and welcome to this week's video. My name is Nicolina if you are new here. If not, welcome back. I am currently filming the intro to this video in the present time, but we are actually for this week's video going to go ahead and rewind and go about the last part of the bedroom makeover series. This footage is actually kind of just a mush together of a ton of different updates over the last month. So I wanted to come on here and film a proper intro for you guys and then I will go ahead and film all the clips over the last month and a half or so and then I will see you guys back here at the end to show you the final result which is right behind me. So without further ado, enjoy this video. Okay guys, really quickly as part of the as part of the room makeover room makeover. I'm gonna scoot you this way so you can't see my laundry. <laughs> I just received in the mail what was supposed to be my gorgeous huge floor length four floor floor mirror, whatever it's called. From Walmart. I was gonna be like so excited, like, oh my gosh, you guys, like I found this amazing huge mirror that's so gorgeous from Walmart for only 170 bucks, like so cheap compared to other places. And I was like filming my little reel. I'll put the I'll insert it here so you can see my genuine reaction. Are, Are you, you joking? joking? Uh, This is so, so unfortunate. unfortunate. This, is, this so is so unfortunate. unfortunate. Oh, oh, this, this is even. And it's shattered. It's completely shattered entirely. Oh, I was so excited to finally get my mirror. Like I made this space all ready to go. I was so excited. And now, now I have to wait even longer. And this one was already delayed. It's Monday and it was supposed to come Saturday. And I should have known when it was delayed something was gonna happen so that's the update oh my god i really hate the way that my hair is looking right now anywho i'm gonna go to the gym now so just wanted to fill you guys in on that you guys i don't think you understand but my dream of having a full-size just huge mirror has finally been achieved and I'm obsessed. I honestly thought that I ordered black. I'm not gonna lie. I swore I could have ordered black, but I looked back at, the, at my order and it says I ordered gold, but I don't know why my brain, I swore I thought I ordered a black one instead of gold, but I'm not mad about it. There's no point in returning it. It's perfect. It looks great. Next steps are to style it and I am so excited because these are just gonna be the finishing little final touches for this area. And this is going to be just the ultimate OOTD mirror and I am so excited. You guys have no idea how long I have wanted a mirror like this. So I can't wait to show you guys how I style it. <laughs> oh. Okay, ladies and gents, we have Target Haul. Let me zoom you out just a tad. Okay. <sighs> Y'all know I went off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. They were having a ton of sales on um, bedding, pillows, throw pillows. Look, oh my God, I knew it. I already got one dirty. Just getting in the house. But it was basically 20% off on all decorative pillows, throw pillows, throw blankets, bedding, anything bedding. So. I ended up getting two new throw pillows like I told you guys I wanted to go for two square pillows 
and these I thought were just so nice and gorgeous and added just a great texture and I loved the size of them um, and I could always put a cover on it if I wanted to switch it up so I ended up getting two of these they were originally $29.99 and with the 20% off they were $20.99 um, I also got this little stool, which I'm not going to lie, I swore this was $30, unless it was on sale the last time I looked, um, but it's $60. So, but the problem was, is I already had my heart and mind set on it for in front of my mirror, um, and I was already at the register checking out when uh, I realized it was indeed double the price. That I thought it was originally so I also got this cute little white pot super super cute and this one is actually going to be what this plant goes into over here I'm gonna replace her so I got this cute little pot it was the perfect size and I wanted something just simple for right here for this one because I already have the gold frame going on here. I'm going to put it in a macrame hang. So it's going to be like a lot of other textures and colors going on already. So I went with just plain white for this plant specifically. And then another update. I went to Trader Joe's this morning with my mom solely just to go grocery shopping. And as we were leaving, they had this whole cute little section of hanging plants for ten dollars and they're big ones so when i saw that i was like oh my gosh of course i have to get one because for that price i'll never see anywhere else so i got this gorgeous um hartley philodendron which look at this for 10 bucks this is an eight inch pot i believe so picked her up and I know that the philodendron plants are supposed to be very low maintenance and it's already starting to hang which I love so this plant is actually going to sit on top of the stool I'll show you guys um, the vibe for that the only thing is is that I did not find a pot for this guy yet so I have to do that and I plan on going to the farm that um I'm sure some of you might have seen if you've watched my previous vlogmases it's the same farm that my family and I go to to get our Christmas tree every year for the past few years but of course during the spring and summertime they have just a ton of different plants specifically hanging plants that look like this that droop over pretty nicely and other just really cute little succulents and stuff so I plan to go over there. I think I want to get like maybe two more plants, but much smaller. So I was super successful today at Target. Can't complain. And yeah, so all the final touches it touches on my room are really starting to come together. Shall we replace the pillows on my bed so you guys can see the vibe and we can, you know, react to it together? This is my little mushroom pillow. I don't know. I can't remember if I showed you guys this. I feel like I might have. But this is from Urban Outfitters. Got her on sale. Love, love, love. I think it's so cute. And the texture. So, let's get rid of this. This is my Madre's. We are not going to keep her. What do you think? Wow! Okay, okay. They're pretty big. <laughs> I feel like it's a little tall. I like it. I think it's super, super cute. If I wanted to be really extra, I could totally get two smaller pillows and then put this like completely in front like that. But maybe I'll do that for like seasonal things. So like for Christmas, I could get a cute little switch it out, you know, something like that. Now looking at it up against my white, white comforter and stuff, they look a little bit more yellow here than I remember them being in the store. I'm not going to lie, but we'll sit with it for a little bit. I'll keep the receipt just in case I want to return.
that's the update I have for you guys. I want to um, do the mirror in its own little segment for my Instagram. So once I have everything to go in front of there, then I'll probably show you guys just like the final product. But yeah, that is the update right now for my room. Hello you guys. So it is a few days later and I wanted to show you guys the pots that I had ordered because they all came in and they are just absolutely gorgeous and I'm actually so obsessed with them. So I wanted to show you guys them before I went ahead and potted all the plants and stuff so that I could then obviously show you guys the final reveal of it all. Starting off with this cute little guy. This I got off Amazon. It was about 15 bucks and I just thought it was so cute and different and added in that like What is that aesthetic called like kind of European esque Renaissance esque Vibe like kind of older vintage -y. I don't know what the what I'm trying to say, but I um forgot that I wanted to show you guys my little mood board that I made for my room. Um, specifically certain ones that have to do with surfaces and how I decorate things because I'm sure I already showed you guys the mood board for my room somewhere in this video because I'm cutting it up kind of weird. But I thought this guy was so cute and for only 15 bucks would be great for my little string of pearls plant which I don't know if I showed you guys the plants that I got, but obviously you'll see them in here and you'll see what I mean. But my next two pots are from H&M. And when I tell you I'm so surprised by the quality of these, I don't know why, because I have bought from H&M Home before and it was amazing. That was Luna playing with the bag, not a ghost. Um, H&M Home's quality is absolutely amazing and they always have great deals going on. They always have, you can always use the student discount as well. So I am just, over the moon about how amazing these pots are because they're just way better than I was expecting. But first we have this one. I absolutely loved the texture, the color. I thought it was different and really cool and like these bubbles were just, I just thought it was so sick and I hadn't seen this anywhere else and I just love how it has that like crackly vibe and it's almost giving kind of like restoration hardware if you will, so I thought this was just gorgeous. And then I ended up buying a new pot for my bigger plant that I feel like I already showed you guys, but I can't necessarily remember. I did pot one of them, but it's just not really hitting the same because I knew that I was ordering these two pots and it just wasn't gonna match there's a bug on my wall so knowing that I was going to get those two pots I figured I might as well order another one that I know is gonna match so I ended up getting this bad boy and again I just absolutely love the texture of it and there's this like extremely cool and intricate shape it's very organic and ugh, I just love it and the colors next to each other are just amazing because they're these just different shades of creams and whites and off-whites beiges that I think is gonna look so nice all together with the green plants and my white walls and the gold mirror I think it's just gonna tie everything together so well because I didn't want to do all white because then I felt like if I had done pots I'll show you like I did with this guy oops if they were all like this I feel like it would have just been really white like it just would have been too plain, simple, and not really given that cozy vibe. It's all about the details, people. So I am so excited to finish off this little project. Luna, hey, don't, don't, she's eating my plant, Luna. She's being a little, being a little piece of poop right now because she's hungry, so. Yes, I just wanted to show you guys those in case you saw them and were like, oh my god, where are those from? Because I am so happy with them. And they were on sale, the pots from H&M, obviously, because they always have sales going on. I think it was like 20% off site-wide or something. Moving right on, I'm going to go ahead and pot these plants, and I will come back with the finished result.
All right, you guys, so I see you have made it to the end of the video where I'm going to be showing you the final result after a long and treacherous journey of this mirror and this last corner of my room. As you guys saw in the beginning, the original mirror that I had ordered came completely shattered and I ended up ordering a completely new one and I am just absolutely obsessed with the way that this mirror came out and I honestly could not be happier. So let's go ahead and show you guys the final result. Okay. <laughs> so most of you probably saw in last week's video when I did the five different ways to style a romper that this was pretty much already done in the back, but I thought I would go ahead and give you guys all the details of it since there has been a couple of changes. And first starting off with this gorgeous hanger right behind me, I actually got this off of Amazon and I thought it was just a really cool different element to add to my room because I had to get a little creative. Since this plant is so long and would be all over the floor, I decided to go with a ceiling hang and I absolutely love it, especially it kind of ties in everything that I already have going in my room, which is the black hardware, which I black there. And if you guys remember the black shells I have on the other side of my room, along with the natural wood, which I love. And I just went ahead and paired it with the simple white pot you guys saw. I put it up here and I think it is so cute. I love the kind of organic circle shape that balances out the super square mirror that I have. Down here we have, as you guys saw, I got this stool from Target and I thought it was a great way to kind of just create different levels. And this is where I ended up putting this plant and pot, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And then I have a cute new little addition down here, if you guys can see, which is just this little ceramic mushroom. How adorable is this? Um, I actually saw this at Target when they brought all of their new fall collection out and it was literally only five bucks. They had a small one like this and a slightly taller, thinner one. I ended up going with that one for now and I think it's just so cute and I love little details like that. Um, and then down below, which I'm sure is probably better off, um, showing you guys up close, but... I went ahead and just stacked a couple of Dior boxes that I had lying around and I thought it was a great way again to create different levels and make it a little bit more appeasing to the eye. And then I have my gorgeous little women woman figure candle with it as well. I just love the minimal eclectic look. So the color scheme is very, is very minimal, but the little details that go into it really bring it all together and make it different, which is exactly what I was trying to go for. So I feel as though I did a pretty good job at making it very Pinterest-esque, if you will. So I absolutely love that. So yeah, but all around a very, very simple, easy look to put together with just taking a couple things that I already had, throwing it together with a couple new things, and really balancing everything out with different muted tones and textures and colors along with different hardwares that kind of all just mesh together without being too white. And so yes, all around, I absolutely love the way that this turned out and I hope you guys did too and I hope you have enjoyed this little bedroom makeover. Altogether, I will put a few clips of a complete before and after of my bedroom just so you guys could really see where this bedroom started um, because I feel like I have taken it a complete 180 and I'm super happy with the way that it's turned out. There are a few bigger projects that I will probably take on down the line, but as of right now, I'm so happy with my room and it's probably going to stay exactly the way that it is. So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know and leave a comment down below whether or not you liked it. And if you want more bedroom things like this, I would love to do a couple of different fall decor videos and show you guys what I do when it comes to fall and staying within my aesthetic. But yes, also don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you know when I post my next video. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.